Welcome beautiful people, welcome to yet another video. I hope you guys are feeling good. I am glad to be back with another video and in today's video we are back with some transfer news, Chelsea news, what is going on in the football world. We have already made some new signings and this is very exciting. I am glad that Todd Boyley is starting it all with the bang. Of course this is on the women's side of the football in terms of Chelsea. But I am really excited. Great things are yet to come. Some of our players are leaving, but hopefully we are able to make new signings. I mean, some of these other teams are not wasting time. And this is the issue I had with Chelsea last season. We always wait till last minute and last minute costs us. It costs us players, it costs us time. If you fail to prepare, you prepare to fail. Yes, I quoted my teacher, my primary school teacher, but it is what it is. If you like the content and you like what you see, please consider subscribing, turn on the post notification bell, you'll be notified every time I upload a video. Without wasting any more time, let's jump right into some of the transfer news. Now while I was away, a lot has happened, but I'll try to cover as much as possible and hopefully you do enjoy the content. In terms of the new signings that have happened in the new Todd Boyley era, I have to say I'm very excited. I mean, for the first two signings, it went to the women's team and we have been able to sign two magnificent defenders. One is a French player and the other one is a Canadian national. Both of them are 27 years old. Now the first one is Yves Perisette. She was the first signing of the Todd Boyley era and she's a French national. She's the first French player to be signed to Chelsea and congratulations to her. She brings a lot of she brings a lot to the table according to Emma Hayes and we are excited to have her in Chelsea. So welcome to Eve Perisette. Then the next one we have Kadisha. Now Kadisha is from Canada, 27 year old. Is not only a star but she has been doing phenomenally from a young age at the age of 14 was when she started playing and in 2015 she was able to win the FIFA young women's player of the year I mean what more is there to say about her she has gone to win on titles of the titles as she was playing for the Canadian national so she brings a lot to the table I'm excited about this new signing of course in terms of our defense last time we faced Barcelona in terms of the women's football club yeah it was a long story but that is in terms of what's happening in terms of the women's football club i hope to see lots more signings of course some contracts are being renewed and this is exciting i can wait to see what happens now let's switch to the chelsea men's football team now this is where everything has been happening all the drama and of course i have to start this with lots and lots of drama drama a lot for you to eat <laughs> In terms of some drama now we have the Lukaku situation Lukaku has made it imminent that he wants to move to Inter Milan at whatever cost he's willing to take pay cuts he's willing to take whatever whatever he's willing to take <laughs> at this point anything in terms of Todd Boyley according to Matt Law he says that this is the best course of action in terms of Thomas Tuchel he mentioned that he agrees with his decision and his all for it everybody is for Lukaku leaving reports have been made that Lukaku and Thomas Tuchel have, have been having a strenuous relationship after the Inter Milan interview and yeah I think everybody know everybody saw this coming and if you didn't now you know because I mean after talking all that and then going back to Chelsea giving the PR stunt apology yeah there's only so much you can do so this is the best course of action for Lukaku I am for him leaving yes he was our highest goal scorer but if mentally he's not in Chelsea pack your bags and get out the door I mean what else can we do at this point so that is in terms of what's happening with Lukaku in terms of what has been reported now Inter Milan first gave an offer of 6 million euros and Chelsea rejected this offer it was still here we signed the player at 100 million euros so I mean it's I think even I know they'll probably not switch half of it because this is not a transfer it's just a loan but Inter Milan have apparently gave out another proposal of 10 million euros and it is looking positive and Chelsea might agree towards the end of the day they've been having positive talks let's see how it goes in terms of the next player now Jules Kunde has been a very keen interest for the Chelsea for the Chelsea team and lots and lots of reports have been circulating about Jules Kunde being linked to Chelsea but now he's not only linked to Chelsea but Newcastle he's linked with Newcastle and he's also linked with Barcelona and apparently he has mentioned the fact that if Barcelona give him an offer he's looking to go to Barcelona and I'm just like hmm I hope you go where you really want to go and this is not a situation whereby we will have to be struggling with you mentally you're here mentally you're in another team 
but physically you are in Chelsea. We do not need this. In terms of Newcastle joining the Red Bull, trying to activate his release clause, I mean Newcastle have been injected with lots of money. That is the latest in terms of Jules Kunde. Of course, he still has the surgery that he's set to take. The surgery has been had been set for a long time, had been set before, so this is not something new. Hopefully, he's not too injury prone. This is the issue we've been having with lots of our players in Chelsea. We need players who can get back up after an injury. And yes, we are human. Everybody is different, it takes time, blah, blah, blah. But at the end of the day, we need players who can come back after an injury. Now, I saw this news today and I really have to talk about this. Now, in terms of Cucurella, I feel some I feel some I feel some sort of way about this. Now I mentioned in my previous video that Cucurella was one of the Cucurella was one of the aimed targets for Chelsea in terms of the left wing ball position. Now we know this position is very sensitive. With Marcus Alonso leaving, we only have Ben Chiro. And in terms of Cucurella, I watched him in the last season. He was phenomenal. He was the player of the season and fans player of the season in terms of Brighton. So he's a star, he's shining. And this would have been a very interesting target for Chelsea in terms of the left wing back. He's very versatile, he can rotate around. But I feel like I have, my heart has been crushed. Now, now there have been reports that Cucurella has already agreed to personal terms with, drum rolls please, Man City. And all I can say is, what is going on because they're just signing player after player and they're not letting go of players they should be letting some players go and in terms of the players that are looking possibly to go include sterling and gabriel jesus now in terms of cucurella apparently he is looking to go to man city how do i feel about this yeah it's football anything can happen it would have been better if he would have come to chelsea but it is what it is this is just a rumor but where they smoke with this fire so let's see what happens in the next few weeks then in terms of a striker position now apparently in terms of sterling and gabriel jesus both have been linked with chelsea but in terms of gabriel he has also been linked with arsenal now apparently again he has already agreed to the personal terms in terms of arsenal arteta found a way somehow to convince him to join Arsenal. Now apparently the amount that has been agreed on is 60 million euros with a bonus and things are looking good for him. I mean, he, if he takes this offer, of course he will not be playing in the Champions League, but <laughs> let's see what happens. But that is the latest. Now Sterling is looking like the more likely choice for Chelsea. How do I feel about this? Sterling is a great player, but <laughs> Because a lot of drama. <laughs> Let's see what happens in terms of those two. That is what is happening in terms of Man City and who are linked to Chelsea. In terms of the goalkeeper position now, Gabriel Slorina, he is the latest linked player to Chelsea. Now the 18 year old from United States of America was set to face DC United and apparently afterwards he will be doing his medical to join Chelsea and we beat Real Madrid to this and we beat Barcelona to winning the player. So there's something about the player with all these teams interested in him. It's safe to say we have a good player in our hands. Now it's up to us to nurture players. I'm always for us getting young players that we, we are able to nurture. Look at the likes of Mason Mount, and Chris James, Chaloba. They are doing phenomenally. And if he comes to Chelsea, I mean with Christian Pulisic here, he should be able to adapt well and move on with him. In terms of our goalkeeper situation, as we continue, of course, in terms of Kepa last season, he was only able to make four appearances, but this was just not good enough for Kepa. Rumors have been circulating that he wants to leave Chelsea. Will this be happening i don't know let us see what happens i feel like kepa should be getting more game time but his quality should also be improving how will this happen with him getting more game time but we cannot afford to make we cannot afford to get him practicing with major games every game matters in terms of the premier league of course the fixtures are out i'll be getting to that but in terms of the goalkeeper situation we have been linked with lazio goalkeeper Thomas Strakosha. Now, in terms of Thomas Strakosha, he mentioned that it is an honor. It is an honor to be linked with a team like Chelsea. And Chelsea have apparently been interested in the player. 27 year old, he has been doing well in Lazio. He is at the end of his he is at the end of his loan period in Lazio. In terms of his market value, he was his highest market value was in 2019, where he was valued at 25 million euros. But currently, he's valued, he is valued at 7 million euros. And I feel like this is a fair price to pay for the player compared to what we played, what we paid for Kepa. 
That is a very good bargain. I would like to think so. Finally, in terms of the transfer news, now in terms of Usman Dembele, rumors have been circulating that he has already agreed to the personal terms and he'll be moving to Chelsea. He will be moving to Tukal. That was the report. But reports have been circulating that Usman Dembele has mentioned the fact that he will be waiting until the, the holiday period is over for him to make a decision on his next move. And I like to think that this is just him trying to weigh out his options. Perhaps he has gotten other offers. But if, he's, if he has already agreed the personal terms, I feel like this is just to keep the word out and for him to stay relevant, for lack of a better word. But he is definitely coming to Chelsea. You heard it here first. So... That is in terms of some transfer news. Now, in terms of Chelsea, what is going on? Of course, we are having statements released by Todd Boyley, and he has all positive things to say, including injections to the club, what is going to happen in terms of Chelsea, in terms of the next period. Now, in terms of Chelsea, of course, the Premier League fixtures are out. Now, this fixtures was leaked a few hours before, but the fixtures are out. They were out yesterday, but here I am today, better late than never. Now, our first team we'll be facing will be Everton at Goodison Park. We'll be having an away game. We'll be facing Frank Lampard and <laughs> let's see what happens. It's always interesting to have a former coach. It's always interesting to meet up with our former coach and we always try to make a statement and so does he. So let's see what happens in terms of first game. Our second game will be against Conte. Tottenham will be at home. Tottenham have been mini Tottenham have been improving, they have been doing phenomenally. Last season, they were able to qualify for the Champions League. So Tottenham are coming in hot. Son also has been phenomenal. If Chelsea could only sign Son, if only a girl can dream, right? <laughs> anyway, in terms of that fixture, we'll be facing Leeds United away, but that is what is happening in terms of Chelsea. Now, that was my content. If you enjoyed it, please make sure you give it a big, 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 big thumbs up. It really helps me a lot. Share it with your family and friends. Please don't forget to subscribe. Turn on the post notification bell. You'll be notified every time I upload a video. Have you seen a fine girl today? Join Chelsea if you haven't. <laughs> Subscribe to the YouTube channel, like the video too, I'll be seeing you in my next video.